Hi friends, how's it going today? Today we are going to make an American passport photo using our iPhone, Android, or other camera. We'll do our editing in Photoshop, and then we can either print at home on a photo printer on print, uh, photo paper, or if you prefer, you can do like I did and just upload it to your local drugstore and in an hour pick up um, a finished four by six print for about, I don't know, 30 cents or so. So that was easiest for me. Maybe you prefer to print at home. Um, so the first thing we need to do is capture a good image. Um, when my husband said, hey, I need a new pa passport photo done, I was like, oh my gosh, awesome. I'll get out the lights. I'll get out um, the white background. We'll make a day of it. And then I realized like, guys, that's a lot of work for nine o'clock on a Saturday morning. So let's just see if we can do this um, with a white wall and an iPhone and see how it goes. And guys, it worked absolutely perfectly. Um, so I'm going to show you guys how I did that. My first thing to do was I found a white wall in our house with a light source behind me, behind the photographer, so that way we get a nice illumination on his face. Uh, we didn't want like harsh direct light, so this is just some nice kind of filtered morning light that worked really well. So look around your house. You might need to adjust the time of day that you do it, um, but just kind of keep an eye on things. If you don't have a white wall, I will kind of show you how you can edit your wall. And if you run into like a specific question, feel free to leave that in the comments if you have some crazy wall or if you have like super curly hair and it's hard to Photoshop around it, let me know. I'll be glad to help you out. So we've captured this image. I first, I captured a very wrong image, guys. I got like super close because I didn't want to have to crop a whole lot. And I completely messed up the... um everything about his face, like his ears disappeared, his face got really big, it's terrible proportions. Um, so just stand back. I was like maybe three to three feet back or so. I stood up on a little step ladder. So I'm eye level with him and had my iPhone about eye level um, with him. And I think I'm using an iPhone 11. So, and honestly, I think any iPhone in the last five 10 years would probably work for this. So you're probably good. All right. So I'm going to close that out. We're not going to use it. One thing I do want you to do is hit control R until you see this. So maybe it looks like this control R. Now you have it. And we're just going to right click and make sure in millimeters. Millimeters is just easier when we go to measure 25 to 35 millimeters from the top of the head to the bottom of the chin. I just prefer that. It's easier. It makes more sense than, than the other way. So we're going to crop. Grab our crop tool over here. C for crop. Or we can just click there. And we're going to make sure this says 2 space I N tab 2 space I N and 300 and then we're just going to kind of bring this down to about like this if you don't know what a passport photo looks like just google american passport photo and that way you can kind of have an idea of what you're looking for but this is basically it i hit enter to crop Control plus, 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 plus to make it larger. And then I'm going to hit M for marquee tool right here. And I just want to measure from the top of the head to the bottom of the chin. Let me hold my mouse. There we go. So this is 31.2 millimeters. And it needs to be between 25 to 35 millimeters. So this is absolutely perfect. We're good. I hit control D to deselect that area. And now I just want to brighten up this white wall. So if you used a white wall, it's a little bit easier for you. We're just going to, let me show you, grab our quick selection tool, keyboard shortcut W, and just zoomy zoom right around the head. And then in our actions, we're just going to grab the level slider, double click our histogram, and brighten this up quite a bit. So since we're only working in the selected area, that's all you see. His face isn't changing, just the background. So we're going to bring it all the way up to about there. We can see our before and our after. That's fabulous. Now, if you were um, shooting on a textured wall, a colored wall, something like that, you might need to desaturate it and then just use your B for brush. I'm going to flatten this B for brush and just brush it back in. Let me go, I'm going to flatten this and just, so just pretend that this is a colored wall. 
B for brush, change it to white, and just color it in. There you go. Again, if you're struggling with that, if you need some help, reach out to me, Gretchen at GretchenOtero.com or leave it in the comments. So now we have a nice white background, a crisp, clear subject. You know, there's no um, haziness, nothing obstructing the face. Uh, be sure to read over the rules. No hats, sunglasses, scarves, things like that are, are not allowed. So make sure your photo conforms with the rules. And now all we want to do is make this so we can print it easily on a four by six piece of photo paper. Um, if you are printing at home, maybe you're printing on five by seven photo paper, just make sure whatever you're about to paste this onto is the size of what you're printing. So I'm going to upload to a local drugstore. I know their four by six prints are like 30 cents. So I'm going to print four by six. So the first thing I want to do is say control A to select all, control C to copy, file new, a custom size, and we'll make sure it says four inches by six inches by 300 with a background color of white and say create. Now, if you were using um, photo paper at home when you had five by seven, go ahead and change this to five by seven. Same for eight by 10. You just want whatever your output is going to be, you want it to match this. So you get a two by two printed image. If that doesn't make sense, just do it and trust me and you'll be fine. So here we have a four by six. I'm just going to say control V to paste. Scoot this up, control V and move it down. I'm just kind of clicking with my mouse. Now you can see here, there's no real definite line between the background and what the photo is. So a little trick that I do is I just go double click right here on my layers. I say stroke. I pick a one pixel stroke on the outside. I pick a color that's just like a nice gray color and say, okay, okay. And then we just have this little, very thin line. And then I copy layer style. I got that by a right click, copy layer style, right click, paste layer style up here. Boom, there we go. Um, all that's left to do is just flatten this. So you can click F8 or you can go over here and click flatten or layer flatten and then file, save as, whatever you wanna save it as, and then you can upload it to your drugstore, you can print it at home, however you plan to do that. So if you have any questions, I'd love to hear from you in the comments. Uh, if you need to send me an image, Gretchen at GretchenOtero.com, that's all in the description. And don't forget to like, subscribe, share, hit the notification bell, all that fun stuff. Thanks so much for watching, guys. Bye-bye.